welcome to I'm Your Target Demographic. First, I want to apologize. I've been absent for like a month uh, because I've been really sick and I finally feel a little bit better to do one of these videos. And it's perfect timing because I just saw Jurassic World and I thought this would be a cool topic for a video to talk about the inevitable sequel because it's breaking all sorts of records. So they're gonna make more, but what do we want to see? For some context, I loved the original. I grew up on Jurassic Park, I loved it. Still a fantastic movie. The sequels, I enjoyed. Uh, Lost World had some valid parts of it, which I will talk about later. Uh, Jurassic Park 3 I thought was entertaining, but not a very solid film. And then Jurassic World, I really liked. Uh, you can read my full written review at I'mYourTargetDemographic.com. I gave it four out of five. I liked it, but it pales in comparison to the original. It's basically an entertaining CGI monster movie, which is great, but it's not the movie like the original that gives you that wonder, that awe. Uh, it just kind of, it just is loud and fast, which is what a summer blockbuster should be, right, I guess? So since it's making so much money and it's breaking all these records, there's going to be more Jurassic Park movies. What do we want to see from the sequels? I've got five ideas, so let's start with number one. I'm going to say less people, okay? The original worked so well because there was such a small cast, and when someone died, it was important. Where here, there were just all sorts of people that were just getting killed, and it didn't mean anything. So I like that if it's a smaller cast, you get to spend more time with them, it's more focused, and when they die, it means something. This leads into number two. I want a simpler story. This one had Jurassic World, had all sorts of side plots that, you know, the kids were like, oh, our parents are getting divorced, and there was this guy, and he's like, I want to militarize raptors, and it's like, what is happening? Just simplify. I don't know what the story could be, but whatever it is, keep it simple, small cast of characters, focused. And those two points lead into point number three, no kids. Leave the kids out of it. Okay, the kids have gotten progressively worse. Tim and Lex were fine, whatever. Then number two, with the gymnast who kicked a raptor through a window, just stop. And then three, they were like, let's make the kid a badass. And it was like, what? What? And then these ones, the kids were just like, like, I understand they needed someone to save, but it was just... I don't care about them, okay? I don't want any kids, okay? Just a small group of people, adults, just trying to survive. No kids. Number four, part of the reason this movie didn't work for me is that everything was computer generated, all right? Like, there were so many moments that could have been practical effects. When you look back at Jurassic Park and The Lost World, because they were Steven Spielberg made, he made animatronics, that the T-Rex would be like ripping apart a car, like standing on it, ripping off a tire. And that was a real thing. That was like a life-size T-Rex that they built. Here, there were moments where the Indominus Rex kind of like looks down or like looks at someone and it's not real at all. And it loses that impact and it makes you less scared, right? It just looks fake. So go back to more practical effects. Uh, one of the coolest scenes in Jurassic World, which isn't really a huge spoiler, but there's like a brachiosaur or something that's like dying, and it's like a practical effect. It's like it's a, it's a dinosaur head that they're touching, and it's moving, and it's breathing, and it worked. But they just need to do more of that. Just go back to the basics. They know they're going to make so much money, so spend the extra money to use practical effects and to build these animatronics that look real. The last thing I think I need to see from this movie to make it better than the other sequels that weren't so hot is to not just make an action movie that is nonstop and fast and loud, all right? Why the original was so terrifying 
is that it was quiet, and it was slow, and it was suspenseful. Right, that kitchen scene with the raptors, it wasn't the raptors running around, it was just like, like they're hunting, right? That tap, 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 terrifying. Even when the T-Rex attacks the car, he doesn't run out and start, you, you know, it's like he, he looks in the window, he flips the car, he like looks, like, like it's slow and it's thought out and it's terrifying. All right, they need to go back to that. They need to go back to a small group of people, no kids, being hunted by practical effect dinosaurs, right? And that is the story. It's simple. And that will make it so much scarier, right? Just them trying to survive or trying to do X, Y, Z, whatever. And it's simple, but it's focused, it's quiet, and it's terrifying, okay? The Indominus Rex was really cool, but they can't go that route again, right? They can't just do like, let's genetically engineer some more stuff. Like, stop, like go back. We have plenty of dinosaurs that are already scary, right? The raptors have so much more potential. The T-Rex has so much more potential. Just put them in the right scenario and they will still be terrifying, right? There's no need to pull a Jurassic Park 3 and be like, here's the Spinosaurus. Like, stop. Like, use the cast that we have, but just make them scary again. So those are the five things that I think are super important for a sequel to be successful to Jurassic World. So what do you think? What do you want to see? Do you even want a sequel? And if you haven't already, we have a full website. I'm your target demographic.com. We also have a Facebook page that I would really appreciate you heading over and liking at facebook.com slash I-A-Y-T-D. Give us a like, uh, comment below, like, all that jazz. Thanks for watching.